Margot Barton was an American day trader and chemist who murdered his entire family before killing 12 other people at two Atlanta, Georgia day trading firms on July 29, 1999. O'Barton had killed his wife, Leanne Van Diver Barton, and then his two children, Matthew David Barton and Michelle David Barton before he then killed 12 other people at Momentum Securities, an all-tech investment group before then eventually committing suicide at a Days Inn motel before he could be apprehended by police. This is the story of Marco Barton. Marco Barton was born on April 2, 1955, in Stockton, Georgia. His family was in the United States Air Force, and Mark was the only child. The family then moved to Germany for several years, but the family eventually moved back to the United States. Not much is known about Barton's early life, but in school, it was reported that O'Barton was an outsider that had very few friends. He also resented being lonely. He was known to have self-destructive thinking, and Mark broke into a drugstore to sustain a drug habit. O'Barton was not arrested for the incident. In 1979, O'Barton then married a woman named Deborah Spivy. Despite the image of a typical American family, Mark O'Barton was known to be a controlling and abusive husband. He would not let his wife do anything without his permission and routinely called her stupid. O'Barton was a chemist at a company called TOC Manufacturing, and his troubling nature followed him into employment. He was known to be paranoid and blamed co-workers for attempting to sabotage his work. He was also caught belittling his wife for having a miscarriage. O'Barton was fired from TOC Manufacturing in 1990. Afterwards, he then broke into the company and stole files and other documents. O'Barton was charged with felony burglary, but the company chose not to prosecute due to an earlier arrangement. In 1993, Deborah Spivy and her mother were murdered under mysterious circumstances. The two women were beaten to death. O'Barton was believed to have been responsible for the murders, but there was not enough evidence to convict him. Around this time, O'Barton had taken up a profession known as day trading. Day trading is a form of economic speculation that involves a trader buying and selling stocks within the same business day. O'Barton was known to invest in high-risk investments, which caused him to lose great sums of money. By 1999, O'Barton had lost over $100,000 at an Atlanta firm known as Momentum Securities, which then closed his account. This further jeopardized O'Barton's mental health, as O'Barton was known to have paranoid thinking and was very depressed. Also during this time, O'Barton was dating a mistress named Leanne Van Diver. On July 27, 1999, Mark O'Barn awoke early in the morning. He then beat his mistress Leanne savagely in her sleep until she died. O'Barton then murdered his two children. His two children were Michelle and Matthew O'Barton. Before leaving his home, O'Barn left a suicide note that read, I killed Leanne because she was one of the main reasons for my demise. I know that Jehovah will take care of them in the next life. Please know that I love Leanne, Matthew, and Michelle with all my heart. I don't plan to live much longer, just long enough to kill as many of the people who greedily sought my destruction. On July 29, 1999, O'Barton then drove his minivan to his former workplace of Momentum Securities. He briefly talked with some of his former co-workers. He then took out two handguns and fired into the office, killing four people. O'Barton then walked across the street to a day trading firm named Alltech Investment Group, where he killed five more people. O'Barton had worked for Alltech in the past, but he had amassed a large amount of debt there. Following this, O'Barton then fled the scene. Meanwhile, police have found the bodies of Leanne, Matthew, and Michelle. They also found the suicide note that O'Barton had left before the massacre. O'Barton then fled to Kennesaw, Georgia, where he attacked and threatened a young girl. A large and intense manhunt for O'Barton then pursued, and the Atlanta metro area was put on high alert. I knew he was caught, I was quite frightened. I, I went to stay at my grandmother's, I wasn't gonna come home because 
if he had reacted and snapped and gone and killed nine people in Butka, and he'd say he won't come back to the complex and kill more. Um, the thing that upsets me the most is that there were children and a lady dead across the street, and nobody knew. And that you don't know your neighbors. He was absolutely disturbed, and nobody knew it. Are we ready? They are providing free temporary office space for these workers. As indicated uh, in the notes, uh, it, it, it indicated that uh, Mr. Barton was was distraught and in trouble, and also felt that his wife and his children were suffering and uh, were hurting as well. Well, Barton was soon spotted headed towards Ackworth, Georgia. Ackworth is located 35 miles southeast of downtown Atlanta. A heavy police chase ensued and O'Barton was cornered near a gas station in a Days Inn Motel. Before police could bring him into custody, O'Barton committed suicide by a gunshot wound to the head. Between July 27th and July 29th, O'Barton had killed 13 people. This is not including himself, his mistress, and his children. It is believed that the cause of the shooting was due in part of the large amount of debt that O'Barn had accumulated over the years and his worsening mental state. But the exact cause of the shooting has never been fully known. The 1999 Atlanta Day Trading Massacre is one of the darkest days in Atlanta history.